Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Miss Chapley. Um, on camera today we have Amalia Smith and helping us out, as always, Mr. Kevin Murphy. We are here at Frontier Regional with a girls varsity field hockey game. Matchup is Frontier against Longmeadow. And what were you saying before, Miss Chapley, about uh, the state tournament last year? Well, so last year, um, Longmeadow was the Division II state champion. Mm. And they've consistently have made appearances. Really? In the finals wow. um, for I don't know how many years. Probably. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Well, it could be a couple of decades, um, but Longmeadow is consistently a very strong uh, field hockey team. And um, when they redid the whole state tournament, they went from Division One to a division to Division Two, oh. where in the past there was only two divisions. Longmeadow was oh. in Division One. We were in Division Two. Now we are Division Four, mm -hmm. and we looked. Uh, went to the quarterfinals and lost to Uxbridge. In, in a different division, yes. Yeah, so in a different division. So but but yeah. you're also, you know, sometimes I feel like it's it's apples and oranges when you do when you when you go to, to the Worcester and East, yeah. their division four in this case division four <laughs> you know, is a slightly bigger school. Yeah. Compared to our Well yeah, that's true. So we have one team that won the state tournament in their division and another team that made it to the quarterfinals in their division last year. And these teams have already played against each other so far this season. On Friday, yes. On Friday. So how many days ago is that? Today's Tuesday. Is five four, days ago? Five, four or five days ago? I don't know how the week works. Um, but Four days ago. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I had to count on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Um, they, uh, the last game, um, Frontier let up one goal uh, from Longmeadow, and they ended up losing one to nothing. But um, Frontier doesn't have the best record at the moment, but compared to some of the other schools that Longmeadow has played, letting up only one goal from Frontier is fairly impressive. It, it, it is. Um, you, had, you had found they had played... West Springfield. They played against West Springfield. I think it was uh, their first regular season game, if the Arbiter Sports is right. Um, and they uh, they ended up beating West Springfield eight to nothing. So if they beat West Springfield eight to nothing, and then they ended up beating Frontier one to nothing, you know, either they just had a much better game against West Springfield, or Frontier is a formidable yep. opponent. So oh, here we go. And. Frontier's heading down real quick. Yeah. That's Taylor, it looks like. There's a pass and intercepted by Longmeadow. You're going to have to help me out with a lot of these terms. I, th I think this is no, like my third, my third time? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whistleblown. Whistleblown. Again, I don't know. What, what do you call them? There's a special word you use for them, and I always forget what it is. Yeah, so it's not a foul, right? Well, that is it. It's an infraction. Infraction. Okay, we can. Yeah, we can do, <laughs> do that. So. Okay, Frontier's still with possession. They're yeah. along the. Yeah, we have a foot. Foot. Oh, okay, yeah. A foot infraction. We've we've yeah. had where um, they were right in front of the ball and couldn't get access to the ball for the other team. Okay, so now so. there's a turnover. Longmeadow yeah. has the ball hit out of the air by Taylor. And tries to pass it into the circle. Is that an arc? Would you could? Yes, yeah, circle. Call it circle. Call it okay. circle. Yep. Okay. Longmeadow making progress up the sideline. As Kirk and Dahl causes the turnover, and Taylor creating some pressure against Longmeadow along the sideline. They ruled it out of bounds. It looks like. Yeah. And another change of possession. Yeah, so yeah. that was probably the sticks hit. Oh, okay. So. See, I don't know all the rules to this. So, you know, if I did, I feel like that would help yeah. me out a lot more. But 
pass into the circle by Taylor. I'm not sure who that is. Who's... Oh, I can't see her number. <laughs> Just turn a little more, please. Dang it. <laughs> one? Number one. Who's number one? That That is Macy DeMeo. Macy DeMeo, okay. Long battle with possession now. And that's Harper Modesto, I think. There you yes, go. Yes, it is. Passes up to Taylor. Is there offsides? No. No, okay. Taylor inside the circle. Can't get a shot off. And Longmeadow with possession deep in their own yeah. side of the field. So it's out of bounds on Longmeadow. So Maddie Antis, or one of the midfielders, has taken it in. And I love it because as soon as you say something, it changes possession. Yeah, I know. I'm like trying to keep up. And there it goes out of bounds again. That'll be out on Longmeadow. She tried to save it and just hopped over his stick pretty much. Kirkendall tries to pass it up, gets blocked. And Akowski can't hold on to it. One man rush pretty much from Longmeadow. And there's Haley Akowski taking it back. Passing it up to Macy DeMeo. Nice little move there. That was the Antis. Yep. Longmeadow pushes it back and out of bounds. Kirkendall will take it. I'm just moving it back where it went out of bounds. Yeah. Nice Can't block. get the pass forward. Wow. Look at that pass. That was nice. And now Frontier pushed back into their own zone. Longmeadow still with possession. Shot gets deflected out of bounds. Yeah, so that's off of Frontier. So they're going to yeah. bring the ball up to the 25-yard line. Um, perpendicular to where it went out of bounds. Uh, okay. And then. Oh, yeah, I can. So there's someone there standing yep. right now, number six. Yep. Now. So when do so you have, um, is it called a corner? Corner, yes, a corner. corner. So when yeah, do you have those? So if there is um, some type of infraction that happens within that circle. Oh, so it's sort of like a uh, penalty kick sort of thing? Yeah, equivalent? exactly. Okay. Exactly. So if the um, ball hits the defender's foot, that would be um, and a corner would be called. Um, and yeah. depending on the severity of, of, of the infraction, um, they they ha the ref can actually if they're below the 25 can call a corner even if they're not in the circle oh Ooh. there's taylor going up the yeah. sideline yeah she was trying to use the line that would be yeah a great strategy but the ball got away from her yeah just lose it a little bit there's kirk and Dahl on defense whistles blown and change of possession again i'm not saying why because i don't know I didn't <laughs> see what happened because I had a player in front of my eyes. Yeah. So, you know, and it's always part of it is, you know, the angle. Here okay. comes Longmeadow again. Hey, definitely foot. Yeah. <laughs> some are very obvious. Yeah. And some are like. I mean, it rarely is intentional is what it seems to me. Right. It just it keeps, right. you know, hopping up from the ground. and That's just the way it is. Yeah. So it, you know, it's, you know, the biggest thing is trying to keep your stick on the ground and using mm -hmm. that your stick to deflect. We got a one on two here. Oh, Haley came in and did a nice job taking that ball away from her. Yeah. So now she'll. Oh. Ooh. And Longmeadow takes yeah. possession off of the missed swing. Still with possession. They're trying to get a yep. shot off. There's a lot of scrambling in the circle. They got a shot off, but it's blocked. Yeah. It looked yeah. like the ref was trying to call something before they got the shot, though. I don't know if yeah. they were motioning something else or not. but There, there, was, a, there was a lot of action happening. Yeah. Put it that way. <laughs> so... 
Frontier has possession, trying to get it up over the 50-yard line. And now Longmeadow steals it again. Now here's Taylor with it, taking it back, trying to pass it up, and pass a little rough, but gets there. Danea working her way. She's got to So just moving the ball to the other side of the field, they're, they're using their defenders yeah. for that good. nice open space. Yeah. And Macy comes up with the ball. Same move we saw earlier from DeMeo. It's worked oh. most times. It's a nice little juke. Yeah. Now here's Antes up the sideline. Getting closer. Let's see if she can keep it in. She does. Good cool. pass in, but Taylor isn't there, and they let it go out of bounds. It was the right idea, trying to get it centered Definitely. over there. Yeah. And get it, to the, get it to the forwards. Just had a body in the way. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. So here's Longmeadow. They're taking it from inside their circle. Pass it up to the sideline. They keep it in. Ooh. Close there. That's going to be a hack. I'll pretend I know what that means. So the <laughs> our, so frontier stick came down and hit their stick without making contact with the ball. Okay. So you always want to try and keep your stick low and mm -hmm. keep it on the ball. Modesto passes up to DeMeo, and she tries to pass over to the far side. Gets intercepted and taken up to the far sideline by Longmeadow and out of bounds it looks like. So yeah, that'll be a turnover. Yeah, Haley Hustoski. Hustoski. <laughs> Whoa. Having trouble with the names there. Well, I'm having trouble with the terminology, so I guess we're even. Okay. <laughs> this is a strong hit from Hakoski. So now Longmeadow takes possession. And Didn't quite get a good stick on that. Yeah, she looks like she was trying to send it up in the air. I don't know if that's... I don't know what that infraction was. I don't either. They're trying. If, if you don't know, I don't know. So, Unless it's like a foot or something. Yeah. I just happen to see it. Because I know that. Yeah, another foot. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'm caught looking down. Yeah. On, on no, I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> looking at the roster. It happens to me when I'm announcing soccer. I'm like, I'm covering the soccer game, and it's like, oh, and it's past two. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, and the, someone else has the ball now. I, I also don't know who that is, but he's, got, you know, it just moves too fast. So far, we've seen a very evenly matched game. The ball's been back and forth. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see why. I wasn't there on Friday when they played Longmeadow last, but you can see why it was yeah. such a close game. Yeah, same. I... It was my anniversary, so oh, I went home after school. <laughs> 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 All right, so we have a corner. So the advantage yes. now goes um, to Longmeadow. And you'll, you'll see, it looks like uh, Modesto is, she, she's going to come flying out and try and take that first. Ooh. Oh, and they're going to score. So Longmeadow has the first. Let's see. Oh, wait, are they calling it off? No touch. All right, so what may have happened is the ball was hit from outside the circle. You have to bring it outside the circle and then bring it inside the circle and then shoot. Oh. So if the ball was not tipped while it was going through the circle, it would be no goal. So we're still even at zero. Oh, right. We're still zero, zero. From the angle we're sitting here, we're level. Yeah. So we can't. I can't. Yeah. I mean, over there, if there, if there was to be a frontier goal, yeah. then we could probably see what's going on. If we're we were just. Above that. Yeah. If we were just sitting up, you know, four or five feet, we just we'd need have those a better like, angle like at those that. Bar stools, you know. I, th I think we need a little bit. A little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. I mean, they have it like. I can see some like crazy tall chairs in like cafes where you really got like you gotta like hold on to like the back of the chair and like the counter, you yeah. know, like lift yourself up to get up there. I don't know why. There's a yeah. nice pass, a little bit of room to work with. 
but Frontier's going to turn it over. Or Long Meadow will, my fault. Yeah. I can't really see what's happening. It's just no. in the way. <laughs> there. Oh. We have a foot on Long Meadow, so. Ah. Whew. I was heading to the circle. Yeah. Frontier turns it over, and there's a pass up. They recover, and Long Meadow retains possession. Got a little ping pong going on. Yeah. Here. So back. So it's a self start by Long Meadow now. Pass into the circle. Pass in the way. There we go, out to the far side. And a whistle's blown. Not looking too good for Frontier. They pass it outside of the circle and try and hit it back in, but it's not the best hit. They lose possession, and Longmeadow okay. scoops it in. They got a scramble Ooh. in front of the net right now. Pass it back out a little. Oh. And they clear it out a little bit. Good job from Frontier. And there's Taylor coming up the sideline. Has yeah. some room to work with. Centers oh. the pass. DeMeo can't get to it in time, or it looks like she did, but couldn't get her stick on it. And now Longmeadow's going to do the same thing the other way. But Okowski's going to get in the way. All right, we have another hack. Yeah. Block pass. I think that's DeMeo with it. Yep, yep. So we have another infraction, turnover. Frontier, opportunity to bring it up. Ooh. Just slightly out of bounds. Yeah. Again, it's hard to see. At a certain point, I can't even see the line anymore just because like, the ground curves. Yes, so we're not exactly flat here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's better than the football field if we were to play on oh there absolutely because that's that's much more curved in not the best way and it also has longer grass from my understanding of it longer grass and a lot of divots oh like yeah like just from the, their feet well i mean yeah you got you got soccer and you got football that's playing there not to mention back in the spring you have track throwing the javelin yeah nice pass Ooh. They can't keep possession though, and Longmeadow's gonna get the ball. Antis tries to take it away, and it stays Still. in bounds. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, right on the line. So, if I. To the best of my knowledge, Longmeadow also plays on a grass field. Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of schools that play on turf, right? Is yes. Right? And, and um, South Hadley. West Springfield, all have, um, they have turf. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but the further you east you go in um, Worcester County, mm -hmm. they all play on turf, which is beautiful and being able to move that ball around. It's oh, fast, yeah, I can it's imagine. quick. The, the stick handling that they can do with it is, is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but Frontier, by far, of all the grass fields, is the best maintained. We have an outstanding uh, crew that that maintains this oh field. Oh, yeah, we do. So Unfortunately, we don't have lights out here, so we can't play yeah. here for the night games. Yeah. And speaking of night games, uh, Frontier had their first night game last week against Greenfield. Oh, oh yes. And they... Close game. They lost... Uh, zero. It was one zero, nothing. I one think. nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was that was a dis that was disappointing because there's always the Greenfield always brings a strong team, and uh, they're actually co-oping with Pioneer. Oh, Pioneer, really? Yes. So, so the Greenfield team is a combination of both Pioneer students and Greenfield students. They do a lot of co-op stuff. They, I think it's a boys soccer. Um, it might be. No, I don't think it's football. I think it's boys soccer. They're doing a co-op with uh, Turner's Falls. Pioneers? This year. Uh, no, Greenfield. Oh, Greenfield. I think. 
Yeah. Well, football, they're co-oping Greenfield football co-ops with Turner's and Mohawk. Yeah, that's right. So part of it is just, you know, declining numbers in the schools. Yeah, and just not as many kids are as interested. And yeah. I mean, with Pioneer, I imagine it probably has something to do with funding, or maybe in the past couple of years it did. Yeah. So... Um, so Frontier right now they're o two and one, but that's not yeah. really saying. I mean, one, one of those losses is to Longmeadow. One 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 zero loss to Longmeadow. yeah. Both of the losses are one to nothing. So yeah, they've only let up two goals the whole season. They yeah. actually they have yet to score a goal in a game this season. I'm realizing because they had the tie game that was zero zero and yesterday. Then they, yeah, against Agawam, yeah. which is another um, they're higher division yeah as well and ties happen a lot in field hockey yeah. right i remember you yeah. telling me that yes yeah it's like soccer yeah <laughs> i mean yeah it is i was talking about how like the corner um or it's corner right that's what it's called yeah yeah that's like a a penalty kick sort of equivalent and a lot of the ideas and the movements yeah. can be similar to yeah. soccer yeah, and we you know we we use like every corner is a goal because the offensive team has the advantage. They can have as many people on that up on that circle, but you are only limited to four defensive. Yeah. Um, people. So till they come back, <coughs> so the defensive team only four are there to 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 protect the goal along with the goalie. The rest of the team has to come back to the 50-yard line. So you have to try and hold them off with four defenders till your team comes back. Yeah. So here we're going to start the second quarter. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep. Longmeadow is going to start with possession, it looks like. I think there might be some sort of That's a kind of delay. clarification with the ref or something. Might be a clock thing. Looked like a handoff or something. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but. There you go. All right, pass back for Longmeadow, and they get it back to their defense. And the pass is, skips over a stick and intercepted. Frontier has it, and they're in Long Meadow Circle. Kind of a struggle there. Good effort by the defense to get it back. Whoa. Ooh. And, all right, so that is advantage. Self-start by Long Meadow. Don't normally see that. And if you if you notice this year, um, we only have a couple of players out here wearing goggles. Oh yeah, that's right. You were talking about that before. Yeah. So just like with the college level, um, goggles are optional where before they were mandatory. Hmm. Do you know why they made that change? I mean, because to me, just, like, I don't follow this sport a lot, especially, like, in college or yeah. anything like that. I Like, to me, it just seems like a safety sort of thing. Right. So. I guess, you know, when they look at the risk assessment, the the chance of an eye injury is minimal. Yeah. But, but we have seen some quite, some pretty nasty, you know, injuries around the forehead. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine. So Antis is trying to get it in. She'll pass it back to Kirkendall. Sends it into the center of the field. Modesto with it. Nice. Good pass there. And she can't really get a handle on it. Long metal will take it up the far sideline. Oh. And we got a we got a trip. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's about that. Was, that was that. pretty clear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good pass by Longmeadow. They're centering it outside of the circle. 
And there's a shot on goal. It's going to go by. It goes wide. Yeah. So I believe, yep, front, it should be Frontier's ball. They're going to bring it up to the top of the circle. Or if you drew a line at the top of the circle. Yeah. And they'll start from there. Longmeadow's playing some good defense. Oh, yeah. Frontier's had some good opportunities, though, to mm -hmm. get a couple goals, a couple good chances. Oh. Good, good, stick, good stick work by defense. Yeah. And so that was um, kind of like a visual interference by, by Longmeadow. There's a pass into the circle, and it's shot out by Frontier. It can't hold on to the ball, though. Longmeadow sends it back in, knocked out of the air. So now Longmeadow's going to keep possession, and they send it back in. They'll keep it in bounds, but here's Akoski with the ball out to the far sideline. And she backtracks a little bit. Hammers it forward, but it's intercepted and yeah. sent back into the circle by Longmeadow. Yeah, Long Me Longmeadow is doing a really good job at intercepting and yep. anticipating the pass. Definitely. So here we have a, another corner. So last time this almost resulted, well, it did result in a goal, but it ended up getting called off because of, uh, there wasn't a touch, right? Right. So... Let's see what happens here. The pass in, that's intercepted by Modesto, I think that is. She's on the sideline and sends it up to Taylor. Taylor can't hold on to it. And Longmeadow sends it back into the circle again. Ball is shot up in the air and there's a whistle. Koski takes it, tries the pass, and it's intercepted by Longmeadow. I'm not sure who number two is, but she's doing a lot of work out there for her team. Number two, that's Bella Matreska. Matreska. Right. Another pass intercepted by Longmeadow, and there's a whistle. Looks like a foot, I think. Yep. Someone was stepping over it. Pass up is deflected. I think that's DeMeo. DeMeo. Yep. Little spin move trying to get past her defender. Out of bounds. A little bit of a shove there from DeMeo. Kind of a warning from the ref, it looked like. the ball. Nice reverse. We had a hack there. Ball popped up so yeah. considering that a dangerous. Good pass back by Longmeadow. Longmeadow for the drive. Frontier putting on some pressure now. And they come up with the ball, see if they can keep it. So, because she was dancing around the ball, Longmeadow couldn't get to the ball, so that's a, like a physical interference uh, that okay. way. Yeah. Working the sideline, and Akoski's gonna intercept it, but it goes out of bounds. So it stays Longmeadow's ball, sent up, and there's Akoski again. She keeps the ball and sends it up. Pass almost intercepted. The Frontier yeah. keeps it for now and is backtracking. Yeah. Longmeadow is playing a really strong man-to-man. -man. Ooh. Ooh. That was scary. Ante's on the outside for defense. Now Kirkendall. Whistle's yep. blown. Yep. 
I think we had a foot. Yeah. That's outside the circle, so. Ball shot up and we have a corner. Must have it must have rode up on a frontier stick to make it a dangerous. Yeah. So here, this is uh, Longmeadow's third corner of the day. Yep. Sends it out to Matruski. Man, that and goes wide. Yeah. Oof. It's the outside of the net. It always gets, like, you're just, the tension. <laughs> the tension. It's, yeah, it's not exactly really, especially on grass instead of turf, it's not a very fast-moving ball, you know? Right. And so you, you take the shot and... You know, you just kind of, I think that you kind of have to hope that it gets deflected for the most part because, oh. or you get a lucky bounce. Yeah. Here comes DeMeo, passing it up, but a little bit too far ahead. That's Nora Sloan trying to catch up to it. DeMeo finds it again on defense. So we have an eighth grader out there playing right now. Wow. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ante yeah. sends it up. Yep. There's a battle for it now. Yeah, it's a, they're gonna call a hack on that. Long middle gets that for yeah. that self start. Kirkendall was right there. Yeah. Nice job. Modesto sends it up, and there's the Mayo. Yep. Looking for the pass to Sloan. She can't quite get to it again. There's Abby Grover, I think. Yep. Far sideline. Trying to put some fresh legs in there. Yeah. Because it's still, I mean, it's still quite warm. Oh, yeah. Slight humidity, not as bad as it's been. I mean, me and you aren't feeling it too much. We're under a tent right now, but... <laughs> Sorry, Malia. She's right next to the tent. Yes, in but the sun. Yeah. Yeah, it's currently 81 degrees. So, and a little bit of humidity. So, I mean, that's early September for you, especially in New England. Nowadays. Yeah. 30 years ago, by now, we had a frost. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. I'm sure the players might, though. It, well, it, you know, it's, I don't know. I would, I would say you'd want it a little bit cooler than this. Yeah, a little bit cooler, but maybe not like the ground's froze and then you're, yeah. you know, throwing little bits of ice into the air every time you hit the ball. Yeah. I feel like I'm hearing the drone. The drone? Do we have a drone going? I don't know. We do? Oh, okay. Nice. Now if we can only have the drone pictures in front of us, that'd be great. That would be cool. So we're See, back. We need, we need an upgrade for that. <laughs> yeah, we're back at the 50, 50, the 50 yard line here where, you know, we have a fairly evenly matched Longmeadow team up against a, a hungry Frontier team. Yeah. They want their first win. Falls on the sideline. That baseline, right? Yep, so that's out on Frontier. It seems like Frontier's playing a man-to-man, -man too, or at least in this situation. Yeah, anytime you're below the 25, you really want to you, you wanna play one-to-one. -one. You want to stick yeah. to someone like Glue. And depending on, you know, the strength of the players, you might actually, like, heavily shadow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we have another corner. Oof. Well, Frontier, I think that they need to figure out a way to break through Longmeadow's defense. And yeah. then once they, once they can do that, I feel like they can start creating some opportunities like Longmeadow is doing. Yeah. Well, first quarter, we spent a lot of time down here against the... Especially in the beginning, yeah. But lately, we've been coming up to the 50, but we just haven't been able to really um, get anything going under, under the 25 offensively. Yeah. 
Pizza. There was another missed opportunity on the corner by Longmeadow. We got a sub coming in. 23 for Longmeadow. Yeah, that's Sophia Gordon coming in. Frontier with possession. Yep, pack on them. And the Antis sends it up. See, there you go. Ooh. Frontier trying to get the ball. A lot of, a lot of physical contact happening yeah. between the two teams. I think I think that that's one of the reasons why Longmeadow is in a more dominant position at this point in the game. They're more willing to be physical and really, you know, push around for the ball. I don't think that Frontier was anticipating that as much. Not that they yeah. aren't as willing, but right. it wasn't the type of play that they were expecting or maybe haven't been practicing for that. Now Longmeadow back on offense again, trying to keep it moving fast. There's the pass up into the circle. And, yeah, clearing it outside. A bit of a messy clear, it felt like. I mean, like I, from my perspective, it looked like she brought it like right in front of the goal and then sent it out. Right. The ball went out on Frontier, so. Yeah. Here we go. DeMeo with the steal. Nice. She can't hold yeah. on to it. Now Longmeadow tries to pass it up, deflected by Grover. Ooh, ooh. Man, we got a corner. There was, there was feet. There was yeah. definite feet in there. And that's, I mean, you're only talking a stick that might span like three Yeah, I mean, like a inches. hockey stick. You got a puck that's around the same size as that ball in terms of like diameter, I guess. Like the width of it. Yeah, but you have is a much, much you know, you have a, you have a longer. You have like six to seven inches on yeah. the ice. Here, you're probably talking three, three and a half inches. Yeah, that's crazy. You have a much smaller surface, and you can only use one side of the stick. In ice hockey, you can yeah. use either side. All right, so that is halftime. Yeah, there we go. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, I would say that Longmeadow definitely has the upper hand right now, but Frontier is holding strong. Their defense, their defense is keeping them in this. Definitely. What they and I said it before, what they need to do is figure out a new approach to Longmeadow's defense. Right. And break through that because at the start of the game, before Longmeadow had adapted to how they were playing. They had some really good opportunities, so I think that they need to reevaluate and come up with a right. new strategy to break through that. But uh, we will be back in just a few moments after halftime for the second half of this field hockey game. It's 0 0 right now. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith here with Miss Chapley, Amalia Smith, and Kevin Murphy. It's the start of the second half, and the score is still 0-0. Frontier Red Hawks against Longmeadow. I'm not sure what their mascot is. Do you have any idea, Miss Chapley? Longmeadow's mascot. Ooh. Is it on their sheet, or do we? No, I don't have it there. We didn't the get like their official sheet. Okay. The Lancers. The Lancers. So I, I, what I, is a lancer? I kind of imagine like a knight. Oh, like on a, a lancer, on like with the giant like spear kind of thing. That's and he's what like I riding think. That together again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. All right, so Macy DeMeo starting it off, passing it back to midfielders. I feel like that's the approach that Frontier needs to do a little bit more, especially when they're kind of pressed or they steal the ball, just pass back a little bit, give themselves some room. Because they've just been trying to move forward, and it hasn't been right. working out the best for them. Right, so you really want to be able to use those short, quick um, passes, give and goes, they call them. Yeah. Longmeadow takes possession, and another turnover. And Arkowski. Nobody there to get it. 
now here's DeMeo trying to move it up. Her pass gets deflected and sent back. It's Long Meadows ball now. They send it into the circle. Shot Ooh. goes in front of the goal and out of bounds. It's actually scarier from this angle. Yeah, it is scary <laughs> from this angle. Uh, now we can, I mean, now we're not, if Frontier scores, now we're not really going to know exactly what happened. Because we're going to, because they switch sides, it's going to be over on that side. Goes out of bounds again. Yeah. See, it, it's great. Like, it's amazing. I can actually, like, see the out of bounds line, like the baseline now. Yeah. I can't see it over on that side. Yeah. As I said, we need to have a little bit higher elevation and maybe shift a little bit more of that to yeah. the to the west here. Or, or we, to could the just, north. we could just have, like, a sky platform, like, above the field that oh. we, like, look yeah. down on everything. Do you, do you think Mr. Murphy will let us do that? I'm, I'm sure he has one somewhere. He, he just has, like, a spare one that he could pull up for us. There's a whistle, but Frontier's going to yep. keep possession. Grover takes it up. And her pass is intercepted. Yeah. There you There's go again. There's two long meadow people right there. Yeah. So that's kind of hard to break through that. And there's a pass up. Looks like it's going to stay in bounds if they can get to it in time. And they will. Fifo can't oh, shoot corner. out of bounds. And yeah, we had a half on that. Jeez. So it's, you know... Sometimes it can be a fine line. But you're going for the ball, and you act, you know you get the stick, and they're, sure. they're gonna get you on that stick. Because yeah. you can hear the clapping. No, definitely. Are those sticks hitting? I mean, it's definitely harder to call that kind of stuff in some other sports. Even in like ice hockey, it's harder to call that because you can't do it like like you were saying based off the sound. Because yeah. there's so much going on in an echoey room. No, oh, no goal. She blew the whistle. She blew the whistle beforehand. Yeah, so but Kyra, Kyra Richard had a touch on that, so we're gonna she did. give her a save. So Modesto takes the ball out for Frontier, passes it up for Antes, and it's gonna go out of bounds. Yeah. So in the in the first half, uh, Longmeadow I believe had four corners, if I'm keeping track. Yeah, that sounds right to me. And and we had Frontier had no corners. Yep. But they. Anti sends it up to Taylor. Yep. They're cross midfield now. And Longmeadow's going to take possession and send it back across the line. I mean, it's like you were saying before, Miss Chapley. It's just they get it across midfield and they just. They don't have much to work with. Because, I mean, like, there's enough people that are in, like, helping uh, their team out for Longmeadow where it just feels kind of almost even. And then as soon as Frontier tries to go on to offense, it's like they, yeah. they're they outmatched. They don't really know what to do. They have no one to pass to, and they feel overwhelmed. Yeah. I mean, yes, yesterday, in yesterday's game against Agawam, we saw um, – Quite a shot's on goal. We just couldn't get it past the goalie. Mm. Um, and Aguam had a really good... Ooh. Yeah, ouch. That's a hard ball. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was, like, right to the inside of the knee, too. Jeez. Yeah. So there was a lot of shots on goal by Frontier, but they just couldn't get it past the goalie. Yeah. And the goalie had a lot of saves. And um, Kyra Richards really did oh. well in goal as well for Frontier. Here comes Taylor. Passes into the circle. This is the first time we've seen this in a while. And DeMeo can't hold on to it, but Grover's going to intercept the clearing pass. Can she hold on to it? Yes. There's going to be a whistle blown. Modesto sends it up. Ooh, ooh. Here's an opportunity for Frontier. Oh, she can't get the shot off. Yeah, they called the infraction against Frontier, so. Ah. Well, now we just got to see if they can keep them in their own end. And they're making some nice passes to yep. get out of there. That was a hack because she's yep. coming around from behind. Whoa, look at that pass. That's that, nice. That was a little high. One on two right now. And there's a pass into the circle. No. Nope. So we had a delayed whistle. It touched the frontier foot. Yeah. Um, and once uh, Longmeadow can no longer capitalize, they blew the whistle and gave the corner to yep. Longmeadow. So, yeah. Mm. 
So on the on the corners, they have to bring the ball outside, and then bring it into the corner. Uh, excuse me, inside the circle, outside the circle. Then it goes inside the circle, and then they take the shot. There's a good opportunity for him in Ooh. front of the goal. They're not going to count it. I think she said it was a foot. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, that was. This is the third time that Longmeadow has had a goal waved off by the refs. They aren't having a lot of infractions called against them, it seems to me, especially because they're keeping possession a lot. But they, when they are having infractions called against them, it just seems to be at the worst time. Right, right. You know, like those three infractions that have been called on them, it could have happened any other time, but it happened just when they scored those three goals and now they're waved off so it's still zero zero yeah okay we have another another corner here in the third quarter for long meadow we have a freight train going by yeah <laughs> so here's the corner for long meadow Modesto gets up to her. Ooh, that's dangerous. Yeah. That was right at that high level. That was too high. Yeah. yeah. Too high. Especially, there's some smaller kids out there. And it's yeah. Like yeah, we got to, Frontier's really got to make sure those those passes are to somebody. That was yeah. just another lost, unforced turnover. The problem, I think, with Shadley is what's happening to them is they're getting desperate they're trying to clear the ball and that's the only thing in their mind like we're just pinned down get the ball out of right. our zone and then once we do and it's secured then we can figure out what to do but you Ooh. need to be thinking about what you're going to do before you clear it yeah but you know just they'll call it whack-a-mole you know yep. when you just see long balls going back and forth and, and you you actually are doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. You know, if there's nobody there. Oh, I'm going to call a half. Grover takes the pass. As long as she can keep it moving. Nice body work. All right, up to Emil. There's Macy. The There's some good pressure from Frontier. That was nice. Yeah. Mikoski can't keep it. And it gets by Kirkendall again. Yeah, they did a nice little... There's a good pass. Bunny hop, I call them. They get it into the circle, and Feifeld's going to sweep it out of bounds. Yeah. I think that one girl just went by, like, five defenders in, like, one drive. Yeah. Anytime, anytime you're... Anywhere within one pass, you need to have your your stick on the ground, you know, just so you can be able to put it out and just yeah. to deflect it. Pass in and and Grover's right there. Yeah. Ooh, nice pass up. She's doing a good job. It's looking for the pass up. It's going to go. Pass your yeah. intended target. So we have nice Ro interception there. Yeah, we have Rowan Riley, a freshman. Uh, yeah, ninth grader. Has a forward up there giving giving some fresh legs. So your frontier starting to be able to predict some passes from Long Meadow now. Yep, yeah. yeah. shot that up into. Uh, Koski, but Whoa. Ooh. All right, so there was an infraction outside the circle. Mm. All right. So they're going to start where the infraction happened. Yeah, yeah. Pass into the circle, chipped up. And Frontier's going to try and take it out. But Longmeadow pushes it back in. And there we go, back out. Pass up a little bit behind her. That was a nice move. Yeah. 
but just pushing it too far ahead gives the opportunity for the opposing team to, exactly. to come in and, and take it. Yeah. Interception by Modesto. And there's a whistle. Stays Frontier's ball. She's going to send it up. Intercepted. Sloan couldn't get in front of it. There it is again. It's just, you know, seeing Modesto try and pass, it's just like, I don't see her looking downfield looking for any sort of target. It's just her only thought is just to get it out of there. And, you know, that's not like a bad thing. No. But when you have, like, if there is an opportunity, because there have been opportunities where you have someone across the field and they're wide open and they can get, you know, they can move down the field, they can give you an opportunity to score maybe or just put some pressure on the goalie. Right. You need to see that if you want to try and get the upper hand or an opportunity in this game where you have, you know, if, they're, if they hadn't called infractions, it would be three to nothing Longmeadow right now. So, uh, Antis just came in for Grover at the midfield position. That was against so. Frontier, it looked like. Yeah. So Frontier's changing up some. Oh, we got another corner. That gets tiring after a while. Yeah, running all the way back I mean, to midfield, I mean, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what is this, the sixth Yeah, because you're going to want to sprint. This is, this is the seventh corner. Seven. Oh. Let's see what happened here. It's just a redo. You know better than me why. If you yeah, I was looking up here. Not <laughs> yeah. It might have just been like... So, I think we have somebody breaking the plane of the line before the ball does. Just a false start sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, so it, it's a kind of um, like a miss hit by oh. by their inserter. So you can't double tap the ball. It has yeah. to be one long move. You can have one leg in. So you're supposed to have one leg inbounds and one leg out of bounds. Okay. So okay. there we go. So now they're out of the circle. Send it in. And Frontier's able to break it up. So, Mikowski's going to take it. All right, she gets some distance on it. Ooh. Antes just a little bit too far to the left. It's going to go out of bounds. Could have been a nice opportunity there. All right, so Frontier's forcing them to use their their defense to move the ball around. And Macy DeMeo picks the ball off. Going to her strong side. Pass isn't as strong as she would have liked it to be though. Yeah. yeah. Ball's hit up too high. She's on the sideline. Regains control and there's a pass into Taylor. All right, so Frontier has, oh. The ref is making sure they're starting where it happens. There's a pass back, that's nice. And it's intercepted. Modesto trying to keep it. So now Longmeadow regains possession. Whoa, yep. strong hit. Goes by just about everyone except for Feifeld who's gonna get to it. Okay. There's the third quarter. Third quarter, still scoreless. Yeah. Although now Frontier, not necessarily any opportunities at the net, but they're putting some more pressure on Longmeadow. Absolutely, absolutely. Not as consistently as, you know, anyone or any fans of theirs would like them to be doing, but right. it's but a start. And, and, and you know, we're, we're seeing uh, Missy, you know, changing up, getting some fresh legs in there. Yeah. So... All right, so uh, we'll be back in just a moment with the last quarter of this still scoreless game.
game, Frontier against Long Meadow. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. And we're back with a scoreless game in the fourth quarter between the Long Meadow Lancers and the Frontier Red Hawks. Long Meadow should be starting with ball possession. Nope. Looks like Frontier is. Do they just alternate with the ball possession? Is that how it works? Yeah. They're like starting at it? Yeah. So I guess it's the halves. I it's a great question. I can't. I mean, maybe. It's, it's one of those. They. Whoever had possession yeah, last, since, maybe? Yeah, since I've been on the field, it, we used to do halves. So, you know, one person would start. Sure. And then the other team would start the second half. But now, I want to say we've started three times. Oh. So Frontier, after the whistle, takes possession. And there's Antis on the far side. They'll keep it after the whistle. Ball's kind of shot up a little, deflected. Taylor... Gets around a defender. All right. Ooh, passes it up, but Longmeadow is there to intercept. That kills the rush for Frontier. Right. Bikowski needs to get in the way. Ooh. Big wind up. Yeah, at one point, you could not lift the stick above your waist. So that would be a dangerous again. Yeah. If she made contact with the ball, it would have been good. But she didn't make contact with the ball. So. Yeah, it looked like she might have hit her shin. All right. All right, let's see if Frontier can capitalize with this turnover. Called the foot. Oh, nice. R right, right into Macy's stick. That's yeah. Ashley Taylor fighting for it. It'll go out of bounds. They're working so hard to get the ball, but then they just they can't yeah. hold on to it and finish it. Got the football team walking back from practice. Right over there. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Took a minute. <laughs> it's like right across the field. <laughs> I'm looking behind us. Sometimes they'll stop and they'll 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 watch. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Too hot to All do right. that. Another shot on goal. So Kyra's ha has um, oh, call it three saves. She's had three yeah. shots on goal. Plenty of pressure though. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice hook. Yep. Ooh. Missed the ball. Hit her hand. Looks like. It's a good pass. Nice deflection. Oh, corner. Here we go again. Number eight, is it? Uh, one, two, three. I think I have nine. Nine. It's somewhere between eight and nine. Because uh, when they, I don't know if I missed one when the inserter wasn't doing it properly. Ooh. Another shot on goal. Scary moment there. She thought it got yeah, she lost behind it. her. Yeah. Turned around. That was if they had gotten their stick on the ball, that would have. Circle. Long Meadow keeps it. Oop, corner. Yeah. And the insert. 
Whoa. Whoa. Gone wide. That, that was interesting. Yeah, that drive just knocked the stick right out of our hands. Yeah. All right, we have a timeout. I think that's from Frontier, the ref said. Yep. So we'll be back in a few moments after this timeout. Time out. Yeah. <laughs> It's you're only going to be about a minute, but yeah. yeah. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. All right. So we're going to see what the coach has switched up. See if Frontier can capitalize. We're in the fourth quarter, scoreless. Kirkendall takes it out. And her pass is immediately intercepted. And we have a, a hack that leads to a corner. Was that 11? Yep. <laughs> yes, 11. Good memory. I do have a good memory. <laughs> when, I, when I apply myself, that is. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, straight on. Yeah. All right. So we had a sh Kyra with the save, but another infraction. So it's mm. another corner for Long Meadow. Almost in the teens now. All right. Trying a similar, oh, nice clear. Just bouncing over everyone's sticks. Yeah. Both Frontier and Longmeadow. Yeah. Auntie's trying to get to Especially, it now. Yeah. I mean, just just the nature of the beast when you're playing on a grass field. Yeah. I mean, in that instance, it definitely worked for Frontier's advantage. Help clear things out a little bit. Yeah. All right. Another hack. Always got to make sure that that ball, you're going for the ball, not the stick. Yeah. Ball's in the circle. All right. So foot on Long Meadow, so Frontier. Frontier catches a break. Pass over to Antes. She's going to try and send it up. But it's intercepted. Yeah, it's almost like the forwards are too far forward. Yeah. When, when they, they get it to the they outside. Get, they get too excited about, like, oh, we got the ball now. We got to really, yeah. you know, get up there. And, and, I mean, part of, you know, part of it is, you know, um, the front line. I mean, you got, oh, I mean, we still got a young team. Yeah, that's There's true. There's only two seniors. Yeah. And... I mean, for a young team, they're doing very well against a very strong team. Yeah, and I mean, the, the you know the other thing is it's still early in the season, and that's the other thing. Yeah, I mean, this is their fourth game of the season. Right. And you know, you want to just keep building as the season goes on, so that you want to peak when tournament comes. Exactly. All right. Hit out of bounds by Long Meadow, so. Frontier's gonna take it to the top of the circle. Nice pass up to Antes. And it goes out of bounds. Oh. Just just can't seem to get that connection yeah. going. That's I think that's their big problem this game. Like they would be it would be like 50-50 who's like on whose side of the field, more or less. Right. Ooh, right. almost a stick to the face. That goes in favor of Frontier, and Modesto's go. going to take it up. Nice pass up. There you go. Ashley Galinsky's going after it, and she saves it. Wow. Doesn't go out of bounds. Nice hustle. Frontier can't keep a hold of it, though. But there's Grover to give Frontier the edge, oh. and she'll try and center it. Is anyone yeah. there? It doesn't look like it. Almost, but 
Demeo just a little okay. bit too far away, and there's the turnover. But it was a nice use of, uh, they've been going to the right, going to the right. That was a nice mix-up to come to the left yeah. of the field, which is, you know, considered the, the weak side of the field because... Most people are right-handed. Exactly. And even if you're a lefty, you still have to use a right-handed stick. Really? Yes. Wow. There's only one side of the stick you can use. And I actually have seen a left-handed player play left-handed and had the the uh, hook like kind of like upside down. Interesting. Yeah. I've only seen it once. Huh. So that way they Is could use their player? strong side. No. No, it was an opposing team. Hey. All right, so hit out of bounds. Long Meadow is bringing it in. Kirkendall sends it up. Tries to get it to Taylor, but she gets a little bit ahead of herself, it looked like. She's ready to go off yeah. to the races. Oh, good. Cool. So that... There's DeMeo. See if she can get it past the long metal player. Yeah. It, you know, it's one of those you want to try and keep that ball on your stick. Yeah. If you, you know, long metal is the type of team that you just give it a little push and, and they're going to be there and they're going to take it. And I feel like that's yeah. what they've been doing a lot with this game. Nice, strong hit right. downfield. Taylor running for it. She won't get to it in time. And Longmeadow just doing as they please, it looks like. Yeah. Antes takes it from out of bounds. Now there's Kirkendall. She can't quite get the pass off. Oops, she and got she it to will. the center. Here's Modesto. She'll take it up a little bit. Yep. Nice pass. Moving it forward up to Kate Walker. All right. Infraction on Longmeadow. Here's an opportunity. Grover takes it. Passing it in. Deflected a little bit. They're trying to handle it. And it yep. gets turned over. There's the pass up for Longmeadow on the far side. She keeps it in. But Kirkendall doesn't let it get past her. Taylor receives the pass in the Whoa. air, and she gets taken down. Forward motion continued with Frontier. Yeah. Here we go. I, I wonder if there was some confusion. A little bit slower in moving to the ball. Maybe just giving her a minute or something. Yeah. I don't know. It's Antes, I think. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Rode up the stick into a dangerous zone. So here we go. Looks like it might have oh. hit her mouth or her nose or something. Yeah. Long metal player coming off. Yeah. Here we go. Pass All up right. to Taylor. And right. hack. Yeah, there's the turnover. Yeah, any t it, like it's hard to see from here, but a lot of times they're calling the hacks as if you're coming around from the side and you're trying, like you're not going face on yeah. with them. Ooh. Okay. Right now, momentum in favor. I think that might be a timeout. Another timeout. Did you hear was that a timeout? Yeah, they're on the field, so I would say it's a timeout. Yeah. All right. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Miss Chapley, Amalia Smith, and Kevin Murphy. Um, it's just about the end of the fourth quarter now. I would say um, we're probably at five minutes. Yeah. Or under. Um. 
and it's still a scoreless game, although Longmeadow has been pretty much in charge of the game for the whole game, but in the past couple minutes, Frontier's been putting together a great effort to put pressure on Longmeadow and its goalie, and there you go again. That's DeMeo blocking the pass and getting taken down on the sideline. Yeah, it's been a pretty physical game. Oh yeah, definitely has. Well, that was a dangerous in fate. So Frontier's capitalizing here. I can hear the hear the parents going. Here's the opportunity. Here's yeah. the opportunity. Yes, absolutely. Good pass. Up to DeMeo. She has some really good handling on the ball. She does. She has some very strong handling, dribbling skills. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Oh, I'll call it that. I'm sure. <laughs> Stick dribble. Long Meadow passes it up. Taylor can't get in the middle of it. But Antes will. Trying to save it from going out of bounds. Looks like she will. And Kirkendall oh. tries to send it up, and Is there's the same Long Meadow player. Matruski, I think is you said her name was, number two? Number two is Matruski. Matruska. Matruska, okay. Yeah, Bella. Oh. Perkendall. Kirk Doing a great job defensively. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, oh, the bad pass. Yeah. When you, when you think about everything you have to put together, you're moving, you're stick handling, you've got to see where you're going, yeah. see where the ball is. Oh, there we go. There's the fourth quarter. All right. So uh, Frontier Red Hawks hold... It to a scoreless game yeah. against the state champions for Division Two last year. Holding their own at the nest. So this is a big game for them. I mean, especially since they lost against them last time. Yeah. Now, you know, I mean, of course, a win would have been nice, but you know, pulling out a draw. That's that's big for them, especially from you know against a team uh, as strong as Longmeadow, and they Longmeadow was in charge of the game, like I said for pretty much the whole time. And then in this fourth quarter, Frontier put together a really great effort. Yeah, so I have, if I was counting correctly, I have like five shots on goal that um, Kyra Richards saved. And, and I mean, she was peppered. I mean, there was- uh, Yeah, for sure. Eight, 12 corners. Wow. And I didn't have any corners listed for Frontier. Yeah, so they didn't have any. So that, that kind of gives you an idea of how strong um, Longmeadow's offense and how they were able to put it together. And yeah, definitely. And, you know, Frontier's defense along with goalkeeping. Mm -hmm. You know, just it just wasn't happening today for uh, Frontier's forwards. Yeah, yeah. So... Again, uh, final score, 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, what would you say that you think that uh, Frontier should improve on, Ms. Chapley? Um, it's, it's definitely being able to, one, um, do those, those uh, give and goes. And, definitely. And not being too far away. I felt like a lot of, quite a few times the forwards, there was, two, there was one to two, even three long meadow players between them and the midfielders trying to get the ball up to them that they have to yeah. come back and you you, you just you just got to keep going after the ball so like short quick passes kind of yeah. thing yeah yeah i mean we saw that a couple of times when we came to the left side of the field here mm -hmm. and not and yeah, and definitely. not you know and trying to keep um unpressured turnovers it's balls that go yeah. out of bounds to a minimum so. yeah all right, well, um, once again, tie game, uh, Frontier Red Hawks against the Longmeadow Lancers. Um, we are going to be covering the football game this Friday, I think, even though it's at Tech, we're going to cover it. Oh, okay. I think that's the next game that we're covering. I could be wrong, but um, if that is the next game, at some point we'll see you then. Uh, I've been Mason Smith. Miss Chapley, Amalia Smith, and Kevin Murphy. Thank you for watching Frontier Community Access Television. Have a great day.